Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chukumbuzo is back after going AWOL for a few years, at least from our standpoint. Now it's been a minute since we saw Maxwell Chukumbuzo, the elusive inventor finally made an appearance at the State House where he met Zimbabwe President E.D. Mnangagwa, allaying all the fears that he was dead. In case you didn't know, Maxwell was poisoned in the United States because some people were threatened by his inventions. He actually revealed to the president of Zimbabwe that his business partner succumbed to the poisoning. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Now, Maxwell Chikumbuto was at the state house to unveil, or maybe let me say, pre-unveil his self-powered car, or more accurately, a microsonic energy-powered motor vehicle, a racing electric motorbike, and a generator. The, 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 the vehicle, it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harness radio frequencies, converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing, but we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me we have designed. So those are the components that, that, that enable the, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy, and this is the first time in the world. With that technology, it violates uh, the laws of energy in, thermo in, in thermodynamics and also the first law of energy as well. So they wanted to arrest him for changing physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route after that. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 uh, kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 308, 320 to 380 newton meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. And um, we are talking of a um, horsepower of around 215 horsepower. So when we compare this car with the, with the same cars of, of this model, like the Toyota, the Toyota M urban cruiser you will see that this is uh, efficient in everything when you talk of load our car it doesn't weigh much it weighs 1405 kgs only when you talk of an urban cruiser you're talking of about 1800 so that means you can carry extra baggage in the vehicle top speed is 220 kilometers per hour yeah which is fast it has got two driving modes we have got the sport mode which will give you 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in around two seconds. That is very, very powerful. Then we've got what we call a normal driving mode when you want to drive like in town. You can select that one so that it, it won't give you a, a lot of torque. Although critics are arguing that the generator already exists. Now the microsonic energy powered vehicles will officially be launched by the president of Zimbabwe on the 10th of February, 2025. Now the highlight of the pre-unveiling was obviously the car, which he made in collaboration with the Chinese automaker. According to Chikumbuto, he partnered with Chinese car maker Kai to make the car, which is called the Kai Seith. Now Chikumbuto says the car has unlimited driving range. It does not need any charging. It just works just like that. And it can hit a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour as well as it can power your house just like a Tesla. So according to Chikumbuzo, the deal is Kai provided the vehicle and he basically installed the microsonic motor into the vehicle. The Kai Seith, according to Chikumbuzo, costs $14,000 a unit to make. Now, those are some bold claims and some Zimbabweans have called his bluff, but according to him, it's the real deal and he's actually challenging you on that. 
Now, I didn't know this, but it's actually the president of Zimbabwe who is funding Maxo Shikumbuzo. According to him, he actually invited him back from the United States to Zimbabwe. We are here, all this thing from the time he began doing these things, I've been supporting him. Yes. Throughout. Yeah, he was making television at my house, and they can have a television, and there's no wire. We can listen to all stations which we want on Tamak. Now, Maxo Chikumbuto also announced that he's planning to launch or unveil his products in uh, China, the United States, Switzerland, and Nigeria. Plus, there are also plans to build an assembly plant in Zimbabwe. Now, here's what I think. If this invention is the real deal, then Chikumbuto is in line to become one of the richest people on the planet. I'm rich, I'm good looking, my dad owns the company. Now, I'm not saying his inventions are real or not, but you gotta give it to the man for consistency. Imagine pushing a scam for over 10 years. That's highly unlikely, right? But then again, this time around, I wish that he would invite professionals or uh, scientists to come and uh, critique his work to see if it's actually genuine. Because he says it's genuine. Because think about it. If there's a car that you don't need to put fuel into, it runs perpetually, forever with no sort of energy given to it that is like a huge fit and that is likely to make him a lot of money so we are waiting for the 10th of february to see the products that he's unveiling uh, to the world and hopefully he invites the media and other professionals to come and check out his work right now what do you think do you think maxo chukumputu's inventions are fake or they're real leave a comment down below if you found this video useful Give it a thumbs up, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.